Hey there everyone and welcome to this fourth video in the JavaScript ES6 and beyond tutorial series. In this video, we'll be understanding the concept of default arguments in ES5 and how it became official with ES6. Until ES5, there was no default argument in JavaScript. But there was a workaround for that. Let's see the workaround and then we'll see what problem that workaround created. Let's create a file and name it index.js. Now let's create a function which takes, let's call it default arg and let's give it two parameters a and b. Now we are going to print these two parameters a comma b. But now, if we want to call this function, we'll simply say default arg and give it two values. But what if we don't pass the values to the function? So there was no such way in ES5 and thus there was a workaround for that. People used to do is create a, create a variable and give it a different name. Let's say C. So let's see is equals to A or 8. So if there is a value of for a, it will be assigned a or it will be assigned 8 if there is no value for a. Similarly, if you want let d is equals to b or 9. So the default values for this a and b will become 8 and 9 if a and b are not passed. Let's see this in work. So save the file, go to your command prompt and run the command node space index.js and hit enter. So you see there that it says undefined undefined because we have not passed any values. So we'll go and make it C and D so that it prints C and D now and save it. Go back node space index.js and now it prints 8 and 9 when we have not passed any values to our function. But this workaround have a problem. What if we want to pass a value that is false value in JavaScript for instance if we pass 0 and if you want to pass an empty string to A and B respectively but if we do this and run our program let's do this and run our program space index.js hit enter you'll see it prints 8 and 9 now what actually happened is there that 0 and empty strings are considered false value so with this workaround, if we want these values to be printed and we pass this values to our, pro our function and it goes to this statement, it will automatically see A as false and thus 8 will be assigned to C and not the value of A which is 0. And thus in the year 2015 with ES6, JavaScript introduced the concept of default arguments in functions. Now let's understand with the example how you can use default arguments in your functions. We create a function and name it default ES6, give it two parameters and then let's print the value of the both parameters A and B. Now giving a default value to our argument is as simple as assigning a value to a variable or any data. We simply say A is equals to 8 and B is equals to 9. Now if I call this function default ES6 with no values and save it and run it you'll see it prints 8 and 9 for both the function calls and if I pass it values 0 and an empty string as I would now you'll see the difference between the workaround and the real way of default arguments you see it prints 0 and the empty string and thus the problem that this workaround process has been solved. Of course, this was a small video about default argument, but a separate video was the necessity. We'll be understanding about classes from the next video and it might take more than one video. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please like this video and subscribe our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get notified of the upcoming videos. And as always, thanks for watching.